Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, it's time to sound the vegetarian alarm. Well, what do you do when you have a vegetarian come over for the holidays? What do you feed them other than a salad? Well, I think about that each year, and I like to make a loaf, and a vegetarian loaf. But today is an experiment because I'm using ingredients that I know are vegetarian and things that I like to make this loaf, but I've never tried it before. So it's the vegetarian experiment, and I'm using butter beans today, which are one of my favorite things. So it's my butter bean vegetarian loaf up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. Let's find out how it turns out. Okay, welcome back. Making my butter bean loaf, you could pretty much put any kind of vegetable that you want. But I'm starting with two tablespoons of some oil that I have. And this is just some basting oil that has some herbs and spices in it. I've chopped up one kind of carrot here. Maybe just a little bit more than that. And we're going to put that into the pan just like that. This is one white onion. That goes right on in there. And then, I chopped up some garlic. That goes right on in there. Right on into the pan. Now, we're going to sizzle this up on the stovetop, kind of on medium-high heat until they soften up. So, let me get this started and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you got this softening up, I add two cups of the butter beans in there. Now, these are already cooked, but I just like to infuse them with the actual carrot and onion mixture. Now, this has been drained, but they do have a little bit more juice in them. So, go ahead and just cook these up, and I'll chuck with you in just a moment. Okay, we sauteed the onions and the garlic and the carrots and the butter beans, and I put it here in a bowl. Now we're going to add the other ingredients, which is a half cup of prepared oatmeal. Now I just added the water to the quick cook oatmeal. Now this adds some binding properties to the loaf, so I didn't measure that, but that is about a half cup there. Now I need a half cup of ground up pecans. Now this is ground up to kind of like a meal, and that's a half cup going right on in there. Now, this adds some protein, I think. I'm not a nutritionist, so don't quote me on that. Now, I need a one cup of brown rice. That adds some texture to it, and that goes right on in there. And then, I have, let me check my recipe that I worked so hard on, one-fourth cup of chopped up parsley. That adds some color and some green for the holidays. Now, for spices, you can spice it up according to the person's taste. You're going to definitely need some pepper if they can take some pepper. So, let's go ahead and put some pepper in there. Now, salt, it depends how much salt that they can have, but you can salt it to taste. And let me go ahead and add that. Now, I like to add poultry seasoning. Now, I know that doesn't have any chicken in there, so I know that it's safe to put in this loaf. And... See, I like a little bit more salt than I should. But I like the little poultry seasoning. You probably use a teaspoon of that to a half teaspoon, depending on your taste with that. And I've got some vegetarian stock here. Now, depending on how much juice that your beans had in it, this has got to combine to make kind of a loaf. And you might add a couple tablespoons of this, depending on what you need. And I'm just going to start mixing this together to see how it holds up. And adding some of this uh, vegetable stock to see if it might need that. 
to hold together as a loaf. So let me check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we have our butter bean mixture here, I tasted it just a little bit because it's mostly cooked and I needed to see how it tasted and I needed a kick to it. So I added a little bit of jalapeno uh, ground pepper and that's going to give a kick. You could probably use some sort of sauce, but what I'm going to do is just pop it right here into a 8x8 baking pan that I've sprayed out. And we're just going to press it out into the loaf pan. So let me go ahead and do that and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we pressed out the butter bean mixture into an 8x8 sprayed out baking pan. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we're going to bake this for about 45 minutes to an hour. We're going to keep our eye on it so it doesn't burn, but it's going to get kind of crispy up on top. So go ahead and set your timer. And there you have it, my vegetarian butter bean loaf, and it doesn't look scary. I know this was an experiment because I haven't really ever tried this recipe. I've only wrote it down from things that I liked and what I thought would be good in a recipe. And I see the rice and I see the carrots and the parsley and that looks really pretty in it. Wow, it cuts like a meatloaf and I bet some sort of vegetarian gravy would look pretty up on top too. but. Let's give this experiment a taste. Mmm. That's actually kind of good. And it has a meaty taste to it. I mean, it tastes like something that I would eat. And I like the taste of the sage and all the poultry seasoning taste. And the butter beans have that nice kind of, I, I don't know, hearty feeling to it. And... Wow, I think this is good. I think this is a winner. Wow, I hope you get a chance to make my vegetarian butter bean loaf. And if you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. I can't wait to see how you change it up. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course, I'm a friend as a friend all over the place. I'm all over there. Instagram, Facebook, you know, Google Plus, and 